Alright guys, so today the topic of the day is going to be gay lingo and this video is specifically for people who just came out the closet and don't know what the hell being gay is. Um, people who just want to watch me of course, which is the best viewers ever. And then if you got gay friends and you just need to know more information. So stick around. relationships and speed and everything like and take it from me I've gone through dudes like zoom 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 and not all of them sexually but I'm saying like everything's faster everything is gonna be probably I'm gonna say five times faster maybe twice as fast I don't really know um relationships in the gay world do not last long at all majority of the time like you know them for maybe a few weeks to a few months and done. From what I experienced, from my personal experiences, and then my friends, some or older friends or whatever, it's just so fast and you just know them and you're done, or a lot of them are just looking for sex and you're done. And I can see why uh, straight people or ignorant people would want to say, oh, gay people are the only ones that carry diseases, or if you're gay, you're going to have AIDS or something like that, or, you know, just something directed towards gay people and, um... STDs or anything like that. So I just think it's ignorant and it's not uh, true either. Just want to go ahead and throw that at you guys. Um, but we do have sex a lot and you want to know why? It's because it's two men and what do men want to do a lot of the time? Uh, 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 of course. So yeah, I'm going to have sex a lot and it's amazing and it's only amazing if you wrap it up. But anyway, um, I want to go ahead and say that relationship wise, a lot of us are ready to have sex or get to the intimate areas first before we get to the let's go date. That's just what I've experienced a lot of the times and if they are going to want to date, it's always, okay, so let's go back to my place and let's go fool around. You know what I mean? So, sex is going to be like what you do, one of, the, one, of the, one of the very few things you do first. Okay. Um, and that may not be for every gay person, of course, because not everything is going to be for every single thing, but, or every single gay person, but you know, a lot of it is centered around that sex. Okay, um, anyway, next I'm going to go ahead and talk about the lingo, of course, since you guys are here for it. So there's top, power, top, verse, top, verse, bottom, verse, and power, bottom. I think I'm missing one. Whatever. So, of course, you know that top is the one that's sticking it. They're getting it in. Okay. Bottom is the one that's bending that shit over to get it. And versatile is the ones that are the ones that play both sides. So, of course, you know, gays are already broken into a different category. Then when you're gay, you're broken into a smaller category. You know, for the top verse, bottom, and then yada yada yada. So, back to the um, terms that are given. So when you have someone that is versatile top, that means that they play both roles, but they are going to top majority of the time. And when you have someone that is verse bottom, they are going to play both roles, but they are going, to, but he is going to bottom majority of the time. And then, you know, top occasionally. So there you go. Then when I said like there is a power top, meaning aggressive. The word power means, you know, strong, manly, aggressive, yada yada yada. You get it. So, what else can I go ahead and say? So, you know, power top, they're the aggressive top, and a power bottom is the aggressive bottom, whatever. And I want to go ahead and say, like, if you're going to go ahead and do 
some prejudging. It's not true for everybody. But when you see, or if you know someone that's gay, he comes off so masculine, you probably can't even tell. Most likely, he's going to be a top. If you see someone over here swishing and sashaying and voguing, probably a bottom. If you see someone that's, you know, in between, got that cool balance, normally versatile. But you can't just judge them right like that because, you know... People are different. People want, you know, different things. You know, like, that's why I said, like, a power bottom. You could be masculine and aggressive, but you could want shit shoved up your ass on the daily. So, you never really know. Um, and I think, oh, for some more terms, like, you got down low and discreet, of course. So, when you're down low, you don't tell anybody. You keep it on the hush. A lot of those have STDs. Just kidding. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. But anyway, um, then you got discreet people that uh, want to keep it still kind of low, but they tell people here and there. They just don't broadcast their stuff all out to you. Um, and then that's it for the little terms and lingo. I think that's all I got. Um, I will say you cannot take a gay person seriously if he's calling you a bitch and you guys are close. If you guys are like just met or don't really know each other and he's calling you a bitch, maybe you can go ahead and say, you know, whoa. If you're a girl watching this or whatever and this guy and this gay guy is calling you a bitch and you guys are close, don't take it seriously. Or whatever. But when a gay guy calls it calls you that bitch, 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 bitch. You know, like it's just part of our vocabulary. Like it's just it just spits out. It's like calling I will call a guy a bitch, like, it's just part of our vocabulary, like, to say, I don't know, when I have sex or something like that, like, I don't know, it's just part of the gay vocabulary, like, it's part of the gay lingo, so, I hope you guys learned, um, a small little, I don't know, round of words, you guys got a little education from Jared today, cause, I think I'm a good teacher, Yay! Yeah! Okay, so I will see you guys next week in another video. I will vlog.